Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So we're going to go ahead and talk about listing our sites on Google. Um, this is the same process that works for Bing. It works for a lot of other things. Um, uh, but you want to be careful. You want to have your site up and running prior to listing, listing it on Google. So we're doing this very prematurely just to learn. Listing is something, listing your site on Google is the thing, you should do that the very last thing because once you list your site on Google, they're going to they're gonna crawl it and they're going to make some immediate decisions about whether to list your site or not or what rank to list your site. Um, it's called search engine optimization, as SEO. Okay, it's a whole science in computer science. So, uh, so to do it as a new user, you just want to be careful when you're doing it. You don't want to do any tricks or anything. Uh, mainly, it's incoming links, uh, you know, places that you're listed on that are going to get you ranked higher in Google. Um, but it's a whole science. So what we're going to cover today is just basic search engine optimization and listing it into Google. Okay, uh, and luckily, this is one of the many things that Joomla has built into it. Um, so let's take a quick look at um, at basic search engine engine optimization that's already built into Google. And then we're going to take a look at listing it on Google. Okay, so let's go. To, we're in our Joomla control panel. We're going to go to global configuration. Okay, so one thing I did last time is just the site name. Okay, so we want to have our site name right here. Okay, then we can scroll down. And these metadata settings... This is this is the main thing that uh, web crawlers use to determine what's on the site. So, so your site meta description. Uh, so we want to make this. It's basically a tagline that's used electronically for search engines, right? So we want to say new dad. You want to make up a tagline here. New dad boot camp trains new dads to be the best fathers they can be. Okay, so you want to make some kind of tagline. Um, now you can get very complicated with this and uh, really, you know, look up, uh, for example, you know, you can target this to search terms in Google and stuff, but this is, a, is a, you know, the main way that, that, a, that a crawler really knows uh, what your site's about. Now the key terms here are going to be um, parent training, okay, and these are, these are separated by commas. Parent training, dad boot camp, okay, new parents, baby care, okay, whatever it is that your your keywords are. Notice they're separated by commas. Next, we're going to go index. So this robots, this index follow. This is a setting <clears throat> where. In some cases, you don't want spiders to come and crawl your site. It, you know, Google can really hammer, especially a small site. So, this is case if you have a site that you don't want to be public. You know, you're going to be marketing in other ways. You don't really care whether it's listed in search engines. Then you might do uh, no index, no follow. That means that it won't be listed on Google. Google crawler will just hit the front page. It will know not to go any further, and it will just leave. Okay, index follow. So we go from index follow. That's the maximum, right? No index follow means that that's kind of an odd one. Google won't put it on their, their search results, but they will crawl the whole site. Index no follow means they'll index the front page, but they won't go any further into the site. And no index no follow means that no index. I might be wrong on these. <laughs> you should look these up. Anyways, I know that no index no follow is the minimum. Index follow is the maximum. I should be more specific on these. I'll definitely look these up. Don't take my word for this. Um, I, I keep it on index follow because in general it's not that much crawling that happens. Um, in general, it, just to be safe, just keep it on index follow. Um, okay, content rights. I would just leave this alone for now. Show author meta tag. We're going to go ahead and put no. The author meta tag in Joomla is automatically created. Um, and uh, that's something that we don't want to show. Show Joomla version. I would suggest keeping this off. You know, well, we're proud that it's Joomla and we love Joomla. Um, that is a way that hackers know what system your website is running. So just the fact that you're a hacker will know that you're running Joomla, all of a sudden they can create a lot of automated attacks that would 
uh, that if there's a known flaw in Joomla, say it gets released, that you can have some kind of a zero day attack where you haven't updated your site yet, there's a known flaw, and a hacker could exploit that flaw on your site. So we want to not show the Joomla version here. And I would strip out everything related to Joomla um, in the code itself on a production site, but we won't go into that now. Okay, so that's our basic SEO search engine optimization here. Okay, so we're going to click Save. Now we're going to go ahead and list it on Google. So um, one thing I will say also is that you can actually set um, in your um, content. So let's say that we have an article. Uh, just one second here. So let's go to our article manager. And we have uh, just this getting started article here. You can actually set yeah, SEO content on every single article. Um, so if we go into this article editor, we can go to the metadata options. A lot of uh, components have this as well. So anytime you see metadata, that's, that's search engine optimization specific to that particular page. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to list it in Joomla, or list it in Google. So let's go to extensions, and we're going to go to extension manager. Okay, now you could do this freehand, all right? Uh, you could go into your PHP code and just add these tags in. But we're going to go ahead and use a, a module to do this instead. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, we're on the Joomla extensions uh, page. We went to Webmaster Site Verification. We're going to download that. And it's going to save. And notice it's a plugin. Okay, we haven't done a plugin yet. Um, and plugins are just pieces of code that run on every page. Okay, so we went ahead and downloaded it. Now we're going to go to downloads, where I just that's just where it happened to go on my computer. Upload and install. Okay, so now we have our, our uh, site verification. Okay, now because it's a plugin, we're going to need to go to the extensions plugin manager. And notice that it's going to be in here somewhere. So let's go ahead and do all. And we're going to do control F. And this probably has webmaster, right? Okay, so webmaster site verification. And notice that it's not turned on yet. Okay, so we want to go ahead and click into webmaster site verification. Remember, we're in the extensions plugin manager. We set it to all, so we're seeing all plugins. And we, we did control F to find on the page, and we searched for a webmaster. So there is our webmaster site verification. So we're going to go in, and uh, let's go ahead. Uh, so right now we see it on the, we see uh, just the basic settings here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enable it already. Okay, and we're going to go into basic options. Okay, now see we have a bunch of different IDs here. <clears throat> These are all places that will index your site. Okay, and we're going to go and get this Google ID. So the whole purpose of this next part is just to get <clears throat> a string of characters. Uh, that's our Google ID. Okay, so to get that, we have to go to Google Webmaster Tools. So let's go over. I have my site already open. You can get this by searching um, <clears throat> Webmaster Tools. <coughs> okay, so we get this Webmaster Tools from Google. And notice it gives us our login page. We're going to log in. Uh, let me try that again here. Okay, so we're finally in. Uh, I'll, I'll say for just a note, I'm on a network that blocks YouTube, and Google has started to use YouTube.com as part of their verification process. So if you have trouble logging into YouTube or Google, you might check that YouTube's not blocked for you. Okay, so we're on Welcome to Webmaster Tools, okay? Um, and we're going to go ahead and add a site. Okay, so our site, we're going to go back. Um, remember, our site is just our original domain. Okay, notice that it's fcarmody at cloudaccess.net is my sample domain. We go back to Webmaster Tools. We just type that in or paste it in. Click Add a Site. 
Okay. Now here, here it is. So, uh, so download this verification file. Okay, so actually, let's go to this alternate methods here. Okay, and we're going to get this content tag. Okay, if you see this right here, and let's hope this works. If this won't work, we'll do it the hard way. So let's go ahead and click Save. Okay, let's reload our front page and see what happened. Okay, so we, we went ahead and clicked Save, so let's go ahead and see what they put in our page. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click Source. Okay, so notice that now we have, if you notice right here, when we right-click and view source on our page, notice that the meta name, Google Site Verification, content, we have the correct content, the key I just put in. Notice that that matches right here with the with the meta tag that they asked us to put in. Okay, so that was the correct thing. So once again, we take we go to Webmaster Tools. Remember, see we have recommended method, but then we have alternate method. We get HTML tag, and it's just this number right here in content. Okay, so we're going to want to copy and paste that in. Okay, we click save. Now we should be able to go to, to, uh, to Google and we should be able to click verify. And they're going to go ahead, they, they basically go, they look at our website and they say, congratulations, you successfully verified ownership. Okay, now why would they want us to verify ownership? Well, it wouldn't be so great if I could go to here and say I own Facebook.com and start getting data on Facebook.com, right? So you have to prove that you own it, right? Okay, so so now basically we kind of have to wait here. Um, and so these are webmaster tools, and notice that this is the, one of the websites that I put in. That's a drop down right there. Okay, and uh, we can go down in here. Uh, we can go to uh, uh, settings, site links, URL parameters. Okay. Um, so we can just kind of go down through here. Um, health is a good one. Okay. Crawl errors, site errors, blocked URLs, fetches Google. That's an interesting one. Okay. We can just go down to fetch, under health and go fetches Google. Okay, and notice that they'll go and fetch our site, right? Okay, your request was completed successfully. Um, and then we can do what we can do fetches Google, and then we can go submit to index. Okay, and we can go URL and all linked pages. Okay, so we notice under health, fetches Google, submit to index. And now we can actually go to Google. Okay, and this might take a little while, but you can go to Google then and you can actually search your domain name. Okay, and nothing's coming up yet, but um, but uh, uh, in a couple of days, you know, give it some time. Remember, Google is a huge system. Uh, you would be able to go in and actually search on your domain name. Okay, so that's basically it. So we have uh, we have uh, listed our site in Google at that point. You can go back into Webmaster Tools. You can see it's it's really pretty cool. You can see where links are coming into from your site. So say for example you link to a different site, they find that link. You can see where things are coming from. You can see what part of the world people are viewing your site from, which is really cool. Um, you can do optimization. So you can do site maps, which is a great thing to add to your site. And then they have just a lot of different stuff in here, so um, so you can go in and explore it on your own, on your own. Um, okay, so that's it. So we have uh, listed our site in Google. Uh, go ahead and list your site in Google, and good luck.